Hi, Dawn Stans Lamenti. It is a record breaking weekend for a special nonprofit that supports the children and families of our first responders. Here's what you need to know about Tour de Shore. They're peddling with a purpose by the thousands this weekend in the name of those who protect and serve. More than 2,500 bike riders signed up for Tour de Shore's 65 mile trek from Philadelphia to Atlantic City. For many here, they're riding for a loved one they've lost. It was a tragic event and we, lo we lost someone really dear to us, my husband, my son's father, um, but we picked up the pieces and um, we keep moving forward. And um, we ride every year to honor him and all the other police officers that have given the ultimate sacrifice. Her husband and childhood sweetheart, Officer John Pulowski, was shot and killed in the line of duty Friday, February 13th, 2009. Kimmy was five months pregnant with their first baby. Her finish line moment at Tour de Shore the following summer continues to inspire volunteers and donors. Kimmy uh, had given birth, I think it was eight weeks before she rode, or right after her husband was killed. To stand at the finish line and watch her cross is, is a moment I will never forget for my entire life. For me, it's why I do the ride, and it's, it, it's why I have such a, a long-standing involvement with the charity. So it's just something for people. Uh, they probably don't realize just how many lives they touch. Deputy Commissioner Joe Sullivan is both a bicyclist as well as a veteran policeman who grieves the loss of friends and fellow first responders killed in the line of duty. For many, this physically challenging fundraiser is also a way of coping. That's sorrow and grief that never goes away. They, but by them coming together, um, they find ways to manage it and to, through their shared experiences, get through um, the tragedy that's confronting them. This 501c3 nonprofit provides an immediate $5,000 grant to children and families of fallen first responders. They have that type of support, not just immediately after the tragedy, but on an ongoing basis that their loved one is never forgotten. This gives us an opportunity every year to remind them again that they're in our hearts and in our minds. It's a rallying point for those in the community, in the, in the first responder community, to be in this ride. And for the rest of us, it's a way for us to say, thank you for what you do, and we appreciate you. That appreciation and respect for our fallen heroes brings together the law enforcement family across America, which recently grieved the assassination of NYPD officer Miyasotis Familia, who leaves behind three children. And what would you say to the family members of others like Officer Familia, her three kids just lost their mom? Oh, that's hard. Um, I remember in the beginning when um, I lost John, there wasn't much that people could say to me to make me feel better. Um, but looking back on it, um, the biggest thing was for people to just encourage me to keep pushing forward for my family, for my kids, for Johnny, um, to get up and move forward and make something positive out of it, if, if that's even possible. And now remarried with four children, Kimmy says riding to raise funds as well as awareness each year helps her family's healing process. Now, those numbers are still being tallied, but it looks like Tour de Shore is coming very close to its million dollar record breaking goal to raise those important funds to help the children and families of our critically injured or fallen first responders. If you'd like to know more or if you'd like to get involved, you can go to irishpub.donordrive.com. Dawn Stanslamenti, up next, Larry's commentary.